Okay, in this section, we're going to be teaching you how to find equations of exponential functions. All right, so sometimes um, you're given um, an exponential function, um, and we know the initial quantity and the growth, um, the growth rate, right, in the beginning. But what if we don't know what the growth rate is? But instead, we um, know only some inputs and some outputs, um, and we can still construct an a, um, exponential function or we can model that situation because remember, typically these are coming in order pair. So let's say for instance, in this particular case here that I wanna work with, I've given the ordered pair negative, um, negative two, negative two, six, and then um, say for instance, two, one, okay? Now you've just been given that ordered pair. Remember the formula for this that we'll be looking um, in these exponentials, it has the form, the form of f of x is equal to a, b, x. Remember that? So all we do is, we already know that this is what our x, and this is a y coordinate, this is a x, this is a y coordinate, and we just wanna know, the, you know the point that it's gonna pass through this, so we can just pick and start from here. So let's say for instance, so we can rewrite this, you know that this is really, I don't wanna say it like that, but let me see for instance, um, this, it's kind of like our y part, remember that? And then we already have our x part right here, right? So what we're gonna do is plug and play, and then we're just going in and do some algebra and we can solve for that, all right? So now we're looking at, so based on what we have, we now have this f of x is actually gonna be six is equal to a, b, and that's gonna be a negative two. So here's the parts that we substituted in for right here. All right. So now, um, knowing that, let's do a, a, a little algebra here. So we have, um, let's get, uh, let's try to get the um, A. So let's solve for A. So what is the A? All right. So the A here would be A is equal to uh, do, 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 what we're going to do here. I'm going to. I can just divide this by um, b to the negative 2. Why can I divide? Remember, because these are what? These are being multiplied. So since these are being multiplied, I can divide. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do that in a different color so you can see that. This is why it's important that we know these properties and these rules. So they show you what you can and can't do. So divide that. So we end up getting um, b and 2 over here. So... Now we end up with A is equal to six over B to the negative two. All right, well, if you remember the properties from exponents again that um, I've talked about before, and you know that you can write this in the equivalent form of six B squared, right? It came down, because remember the negative, now can, you pull it up, it becomes a positive, and then it's multiplied by that, so now it's just six B squared. All right. So now we have that A is actually equal to 6B squared. So we want to put a pin in that. Okay. All right. So remember what we had before. We had um, we had this one ordered pair. We had the, like I said, the 6AB negative um, 2 squared. All right. So now let's look at that second equation. The second equation we had when y was actually equal to one. So what I'm talking about, the second one, this one here. So y was equal to one, so that's, that's one is equal to a b squared. Well, what do you think I'm thinking here? I already know what a is, so we got one is equal to six b squared, and this whole thing is b squared. Are you with me? Let me see if I should go back and write those in red. One, then we substitute the six B squared, which came from here, all right? And then this right here just came from here. This is part of our formula. Okay, so now what do we do? So now let's do some algebra, remember more of our rules. What do we got? We got two bases are the same. We've been multiplied. We, so it's going to still be six. The bases are the same. So when the bases are the same, what do we do? 
Okay, the exponents that it gives us four. Okay, so we got six, um, one equal to um, six. Um, sorry, I forgot my B. Um, six um, B four. And now, whether we, we want to get rid of, we want to get this B by itself. So you divide it by six. Six. So now we got what? One six equal to B four. And now we just take the fourth root of B. So the fourth root of B would be um, B equal to fourth root. This is when you bring your calculator in of one six, which is equivalent to about um, from calculations here is the uh oh I'm erasing stuff. I put in gold. It's equivalent to about um, two point four four nine two. All right, so now we have what B is. So remember, now we got A, and now we got our B is equal to about two point four four nine two. All right, so now we can um, put uh, all this. I'm gonna talk, I'm sorry, not that's not a B. That was our. Was it a B? Oh oh oh! What did I do? Uh, oh, I took the fourth root of B, which is. Oh, I wrote down the wrong root. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here, this is not the fourth root of B. The fourth root of B um, should have been um, should be point six three eight nine. I'm sorry about that. The um, fourth root of B should have been um, point six three eight nine. So now we're gonna go back and what we're gonna plug all this back in to this thing here, right? All right, so now we can find out what A is, all right? Because remember, we all had was um, that piece for A. Okay, I would like to keep on this page, but I don't think I have any more room, guys. Uh, let's see, let's see. Right, maybe I can squeeze it in over here. I know this is horrible board work. All right, so let's say, for instance, so now we have, remember A, Remember, our A is equal to this right over here, right? So our A is equal to 6B squared. We just found out what B was. So now we're going to have what A is equal to 6 times 0 0.63, 0 0.6389, right? And when we multiply that out, we get A is equal to 2.5. Four four nine two. All right. So now, when we put it all together, now what do we end up with? Let's finish this off nicely. Um, let's see. Now I forgot how to get more colors. When I wanted more colors, you wouldn't give it to me. There we go. Let's do purple. All right. So now, when we finish this all off, we got our f of x is equal to two point four four nine two times remember that was our a part from here times what um what's our um our b which is point six three eight nine and all that to the x all right so when we have our new formula right here all right so let me give you another sheet i can't write it like that so we got f x is equal to 2.4492 times 0 0.6389 raised to the x power all right hopefully you got that questions or concerns let me know